Hey there guys, so in this quick video I'm going to show you how to add additional service locations to your Google Maps or Google Local or now it's technically called Google Places uh, map listing. This is where, you, as you know, you come up above the organic Google search results and uh, that's really where you want to land. You want to land in that uh, exclusive seven, those seven map local listings Google displays. And um, I personally, for Alicia's Animals, my pet sitting business, we get a ton of our traffic from that listing. So you really want to do the most you can to land in those results when somebody is searching for your keywords. Um, and a lot of people have been asking how you how you help influence that listing and no one's really sure sure people say that the more reviews you have the better off you'll be and I tend to agree with that I'm all about getting as many Google reviews as you can um, but also the question for today is how can I show up in a location for which my physical address is not so if I'm in one part of the city or the town but naturally we as pet sitters we tend to service a greater service area so how can we let Google places know this and uh, thankfully Google is very smart they have since accounted for this because think about it we're not the only ones that service outside of our physical location people like locksmiths and plumbers and painters and other sort of contractors like that also might have a physical address but they are performing the work outside of their uh, listed service location so uh, in other words Google has now accounted for the fact that people don't only use a service where they go to the business's location but there are a ton of services that perform the actual service the work away from the location so let's take a look at how you can update your Google places or your Google Maps or Google local listings to account for this so you log in to your places account and you'll arrive at the dashboard scroll down to your listing and click edit and now you'll be on your information page now for the record our Google Places listing has been performing well for us for quite some time so I'm actually not going to be converting mine to the example I'm gonna show you because I I just sort of don't want to mess with a good thing I'm not sure if it's really going to increase our exposure because like I said we happen to be doing okay in the listings so I'm gonna leave mine alone but I'm gonna show you how to change yours so you can let Google know that you service additional areas so you scroll down here and it says service areas and location settings does your business provide services such as delivery or home repair to location in a certain area so the default is no all customers come to the business location we know that's not true but that's again how I'm gonna leave mine what you want to do is you want to click yes the business serves customers at their locations now wonderful Google now gives you two additional choices uh, you cannot show your business address. Um, I'm fine showing my business address, but here are your two choices. Select how your service area will be specified, either through a distance from a location point or through a list of locations, towns, zip codes, etc. So if you want to do one point, you can type in your, uh, you know, it's already defaulted here, your home base, if you will, and service area within X amount of miles. And you see on the right here, it's showing you here's your thing, but you're saying you provide service around here. So if I want to open it up and say 30, update preview, and there you go. Now it updates my preview. If I say I only serve uh, within 10 of my central location, there it is. Or you can click this button and list area serves. You can say, well, I service this zip code, etc. Again, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to update my listing, but that is it. That should put you on the road. And I also suggest, like I've been saying, get as many reviews on Google as you can. Don't ask for testimonials. Don't ask for surveys. Don't ask for input and feedback. Ask your clients to review you on Google at least for a month or so accumulate a handful accumulate as many as you can and you should be in business ready to go hope this helps